Hi, this is Mark Zamoida. I'm going to start up Xcode and we're going to take a look at doing assembler in Xcode. So let's start by creating a new project. And we'll create a single view application that will give us like a basis for what we want to do in assembler, which is just mess around with it a little bit and make sure we can get it to work. Um, the product name uh, test ASM. Uh, the prefix, we'll just put test ASM. No need for storyboards. Uh, arc doesn't matter. Hit next and let's create this. All right, so let's run it and make sure we have an application here. Use this as the basis to do assembly language programming with. The emulator comes up and it looks fine. It's just a blank uh, view right here that shows up. Okay. So let's take a look at the view controller. And we know we're going to execute some code here after view did load. So let's have this be a spot to add some assembly language. Uh, there are lots of different ways to add it in. We can add it in right here, you know, assembly language commands with uh, macros right here. Um, but what I'd rather do is I'd like to start off looking at how it generates its code itself. Let's just create a dummy C function called foo. And let's give it a, we don't need to create a header file or anything. Let's just create void foo up here as the function prototype. So now we have a valid C function. And let's add that C function in a new file here. So I'll, how do you do this? Right click, new file. We'll create a C file and we'll call it um, uh, test C file. Okay, and there it is. And all we're going to put in here is our foo function, which we'll just make it return so it doesn't do much of anything. Now, uh, let's set a breakpoint back where we were before and make sure that this function gets called. Okay, we're at the breakpoint. We'll step into it. And we are in our foo function, and that's great. Okay, so what we can do is let's stop this. go to our foo function and we can go to the product menu generate output and look at the assembly file that was created for this C function and you take a look at it and I gotta tell you I don't understand about 90% of this <laughs> but um, the part that's important to us is the part that actually does something in here. Let's see. Here we have our underscore foo symbol, which is important. And then we have some assembly command, and the return is right here. OK, so let me, I don't expect anyone to understand this yet. I mean, this is kind of a beginning tutorial in assembly language. But I'm just going to show you how you can cut this out and I'm not sure what to take here. I'll copy that out of there. Okay, so now we know what assembly language looks like for a very simple C function. So now let's make an assembler file. We'll go to a project and do new file and 
Let's go to other, and we have an assembly file. An assembly file ends in .s. So we'll create one of those. And we'll just call it first assembly file. And there it is. All it does is gives us comments. We'll get rid of those. And we'll paste our assembly code that we had before. Um, OK, so I just reformatted this to uh, make it much simpler. This is the exact code that we just pasted, except I took out a lot of the crap that was in there. And even some of this, I'm not sure we really need it. But for now, this is our return statement in C, converted over into assembly language. And instead of foo, let's call this foo ASM. So I'll change it there. I'll change the name of this label to foo ASM. This is just a comment. We don't even need that. So now we have essentially a function called foo ASM written in assembler language. Uh, we won't go into detail what this is right now, but ret means return. So that'll return from the function. Let's see if we can get this to work. We'll go into our uh, view did load method again. And we'll make a call to foo ASM. And once again, we don't need to create a .h file. Um, for now, I'll just add the function prototype up above it. So foo ASM should be valid right now. Let me set the breakpoint on foo and run it. Build succeeded. And we have our breakpoint. We can still step into this. That's fine. Now we're at foo ASM, and we cannot step into it unless we hit one of these keys here, the control key. So you control, when you hit control, our step into turns into step into instruction, which would be the assembly language instruction. So I'll hold control, and you can see the little dot appears under it, and I'll click on that. And now we're in our assembly language. Um, well, that doesn't look like what we typed, but those commands are the same. Uh, it has the return at the end. Um, I'm just wondering if there's a way to look at our source code. Maybe if we generate, now we can't generate output. But this is our assembly code right here. Uh, we have our foo asm function. And we have the commands that we have in our assembly file. And we can step through these now. And return. Takes us back. And we'll just continue. And we have our application running. So that's all I wanted to show in this video. I just wanted to show, um, in order to work with assembly language, there's a few key things you need to be aware of. One is that you can have uh, Xcode itself create assembly language for you by going to the file and choosing product, generate output, assembly file. And you can get the assembly. Um, again, a lot of this is trash and stuff used by the compiler and the assembler and whatever other tools are going on in there. But the important part is where the function actually begins which is underscore foo, and it ends with some kind of returned or a function end, something like that. You can just copy that out of your C function and dump it into an assembly file like this. You can probably organize it to make it look better like this. And you step through it by hitting the control key when you go to hit your step into. So the next video will probably go into more, you know, a very high level what is this stuff. <laughs>